Welcome, Pew Report readers and viewers, to episode number two of season two of What's Cooking. And we have the Buccaneers rookie kicker with us, Mr. Matthew Gay. How you doing, guys? Excited it, to be here. Is it Matthew or just Matt? Depends on who you are. Now, now, Matt, or Matthew, let's go ahead and just address the elephant in the, the room. Your name. Yeah. Growing up. It's a tough one. I'm sure it wasn't easy. I'm sure you heard every joke, every bully picking on you about your name. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, mean, Fat Matt. Doormat. Doormat. Uh, Matt the Cat. Yeah, it was. Matt the Bat. It was, it was rough. rough. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, every day going to school was... Just didn't never, know you never knew what they yeah. were going to say never about you. Just prepared yourself before you even went. So. Smart guy. Yeah. Now, you are 25 years old? Yep, 25. I might need to see a license. You look a little older. I'm thinking you might be in your 30s. That old? You think? The beard? Uh, we got a little uh, thing going with the specialist. Uh, who's going to shave first? So I think it's getting, it's getting a little long here. So. Speaking of that, any particular reason Bradley Pinion's standing behind us for this segment? Oh, he's my holder. He holds all my stuff. Everything. Can I see my phone, actually? <laughs> All right, 235 pounds, six foot. Hey, 230. 230? 230 now. 230 right, now. I can't read my own writing here. I'm saying it's a little stocky for a kicker. Now, you've probably met Martin Gramatica, the Bucks all-time mm -hmm. leading kicker, scorer guy. He's about four foot 14 and 108 pounds, soaking <laughs> wet. Now, you're not the typical build of a kicker. Um, I don't want to ask how you got this way, because that's DNA and genetics, but... Are you a workout guy? I mean, do you lift weights? Do you just eat a lot of food? I mean, what, what are we doing here? A mixture of everything, you know? I think uh, naturally I was a little bit just stockier. Even when I was playing soccer, I was a big soccer player. Um, Chunky. Go ahead. Hey. Husky. I was going to say it. But, uh, but then, yeah, I just uh, I like food. I stopped playing soccer and kept eating the same way. Right. And I don't run as much now. so <laughs> That's true. Put on a few uh, LBs there for a little bit. Right, so. right. Huh? What, whatever works for you. And obviously it has worked for you because you've made your way onto this roster, a fifth-round uh, pick out of Utah. I, I don't even know if Utah is really a state. I've heard of Utah. I think they show it on maps. But between you and me, is it really even a state? Oh, it's the best hidden secret in America. What in the world is a Salt Lake City? We have a great Salt Lake. It's so salty you will just float on the top. Mm, I'm pretty sure that's like in the Middle East. No, it's definitely uh, going to say in Utah. No, it's in the Bible, the, the Red Sea or the Dead Sea. That square thing with a little notch on the top. Yeah. Yeah, Utah. Okay. So, allegedly there's a state called Utah, although we know no one that's ever been there, except he says he's been there. Only person. I know what Utah is known for, I think, allegedly. Um, the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. Oh, yeah. How, how, what, uh, how old were you when you joined the choir? Oh, maybe six. He's a Ute. What in the world is a Ute? It's an Indian. It's an Indian, yeah. Well, I think that was in uh, uh, My Cousin Vinny when Joe Pesci's like, uh, we called him Utes. Talking uh -huh. about Utes. Oh, yeah? We're going to find out if you know anything about the state of Utah. I take my glasses off because I'm blind and I can't see. Why would I take my glasses off? You can't see? You just making this stuff up then? Yeah, there's All nothing right. on this sheet. Yeah, that's fine. It's completely blank. blank. If you want to <laughs> take off? I mean, I, yeah. You do pay him uh, part of your salary because he does the kickoffs, right? Oh, I mean, you're the kicker. You're supposed to be doing it all. What, what, why you got the punter doing it? Not today's, not today's league. Like, a lot of punters kicking off nowadays. Mm -hmm. Famous celebrities from Utah, or maybe not from Utah. Number one, Artemis Pyle, former drummer from the band Leonard Skinner. From Utah or not from Utah? Not from Utah. Ding, ding, ding. He's right. Wilford Brimley, check your blood sugar and check it often. There's no reason not to. The guy with the mustache, the old guy. Mm -hmm. From Utah or not from Utah? From Utah. He looked at my notes. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing on there. It's blank. There's a few things on here. <laughs> All right. Um, Ricky Schroeder, former child star of Silver Spoons. Well-known Mormon. From Utah or not from Utah? Not from Utah. 
<laughs> this guy's good. I'm going to stump you at some point. No, I stay. Steve Young, NFL quarterback. Former Buccaneer quarterback. Did you know he played for the Buccaneers? I did, actually. Right. I know Steve. I well, went to, this is too easy, then. Yeah, I went to uh, school with his niece. So his brother and his family grew up around. They were in my same high school. So I was good friends. So he was around. What high school did you go to? Orem High School. What city is this in? Orem. Because when I looked at, this is why I don't think Utah's a state, because when I looked at your Wikipedia page and all of your bio information online, hometown was only listed as USA. Well, I'm from there too. So just better to cover all your bases, you know? Just I mean, the, they, the broader the, the picture. But they wouldn't put Orem, they just put, because I don't think that Wikipedia believes that Utah's actually a state. Hmm. <laughs> all right, I, I'm gonna that. get you. So far, you are three for three. Um, Co-creator, of Seinfeld, Larry David, from Utah or not from Utah? Not from Utah. Andrew, did you give him the answer? I know my stuff. This is the last one I got here. Roseanne Barr, star of the Roseanne Show, from Utah, not from Utah. Not from Utah. Boom, gotcha. <gasps> she is actually from Utah. You did pretty good in the competition. Now we're gonna get to some cooking questions. And, and we, we call this What's Cooking because, well, that's my name is what? No, actually, my name is Cooking. Uh, <laughs> what's Cooking? And, uh, and also, it's sponsored by our good friends at Ford's Garage. Ford's Garage has multiple locations throughout the Central Florida area. They have wonderful happy drink, uh, not happy drink, well, they are happy drinks, happy hour specials. They have 10 lunch items under $10. They're all over Central Florida, and we're going to make sure we take you to a Ford's Garage. I need to get there. Yeah, sounds Definitely. good. By the way, how do I look? I don't know if you're a chef. Or a you model? just maybe yeah maybe a model maybe it's the new fashion is that I don't know maybe I Louis like Vuitton the this, new this is kind of like what Jameis wears under his helmet isn't it mm. well, no he's more of a headband yeah. are you a Shriner no I'm not no. a Shriner uh, uh, a lot of people was. last year said I was a cook at Waffle House ah uh, maybe you could yeah I might have to eat your waffles to to test <laughs> it's my new career if this doesn't pan out <laughs> this uh, state that supposedly is a state of Utah. What is it known for, food-wise? Elk burgers? Yeah, I mean, you get a lot of the hunting out there and stuff, mm -hmm. so people like their natural elk burgers and stuff. Um, I was joking, I had no idea if there was elk in Utah, because oh, yeah. you can't really do research on a place that doesn't exist. <laughs> yeah, sure, there's nothing on it, it's like Area 51. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what's there. This is our so. second guest who's talked about Area 51. I'm, I'm sensing a theme in that Buccaneer locker room. You guys are not going to be here in a couple weeks. You guys are storming Area 51, aren't you? Top secret. Yeah. Can't let you in on it. I wouldn't. I don't know if it's a food necessarily, mm -hmm. but I'd say Utah's most well known for fry sauce. Now, if you don't know what fry sauce is, no. Fry sauce is ketchup and mayo, but well, not just not just the two together. It's got to be specifically mixed. And there's some places that have fry sauce that's more ketchupy, and there's some places that have fry ketchup sauce. Ketchupy is not a word. It's more Mad. mayo-y. Mayo-y. How do you spell that? M a y o y e e. I think that's how you spell mayo-y. Mayo -y. <laughs> you weren't an English major at Utah, were you? Definitely not. I okay. Was not. So fry sauce is just basically ketchup and mayonnaise mixed together. Um, I think every place in the history of the world has that. They're called condiments, Matt. All right, so Utah is known for fry sauce. Okay, great. If you uh, get one last meal, or you can have any meal, say it's your birthday, whatever, mm -hmm. you're on death row, I don't know. Yep. It's, it's just a meal that you can have of any meal. What is Matt Gay having for his meal? Hmm. Like I threw the death row in there, that's not very nice. Wasn't very nice, not at all. Made me sad a little Don't bit. Don't cut that out. Made me sad just That's a little bit. Um, I there's two, and this goes back right, to the last right. question. Okay. Okay. Fry something sauce that and... brought up something that maybe a Utah thing, and Utah people, you know what I'm talking about when I say Costa Vida and Cafe Rio. It's a Tex-Mex type of place where you can get quesadillas and burritos, and they have the sweet pork. And I would get a, either a meal from there, just, just because I can't have it when I'm in Florida. They don't have it here, so it makes me miss it. But classically, okay. classically, I'd go just steak, potatoes. What kind of steak are you eating? Because um, Tanner last week eats sirloin. Like, you're an NFL player. You don't eat sirloin anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Filet mignon. Whoa. 
Don't tell me you eat sirloin too. I was born and raised on sirloin. That's because you were middle class. You're now upper. You're 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 wealthy. You don't eat sirloin anymore. I've got to teach all these guys in the locker room. Hey, sirloin. That's like we call that uh, it was there leather. For me. Sirloin was always there for me. By the way, is this your uh, favorite TV show you've ever been on? Ever. Have like, you ever been on a TV show? No. Okay. Well. So. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I mean, you were a soccer player. You didn't really play football as a kicker as a kid. I mean, you decided to do this really at your, in, in college, right? Yeah. You just played two years of college mm -hmm. football. Yep. Won the Lou Groza as a junior. Mm -hmm. What happened your senior year, Mr. Yeah? You know? You know what? Your stats were really good your senior year. That sometimes happens. I think um, a, a guy that we won't mention here that the Buccaneers drafted a few years ago, Aguayo, I think he won the Groza like the year before, and then his senior year he didn't... He still had really good numbers, yeah. but you know, I don't know. I don't think they like giving it out back to back. In other words, there's only one person that's ever won it twice, and he did win it back to back. Who was and that? that? Was Sebastian Janikowski? So, hmm, wonder where he went to school at. Florida State. Hey, looks like me went to the same school. As <laughs> looks like you. You know what? That's not same a bad. Same that's build. not a bad thing. He went. To, he he went here, man. Is that the Pirates of the Caribbean? What was that? You may be big, but I will fight you. <laughs> all right, the bad thing is I can't shut this off, so I'm just going to throw it in the corner while we finish That's up. That's all right. Yeah, oh, just throw that stuff. Well, it stops when you throw it. Yeah. Okay. Nah, good enough. It's like the entire theme song. It's like eight minutes long. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's pretty intense. Okay. All right, so anyway, let me just see your arm real quick here. What do you guys do? The U. Uh, I th that's the, that's think Miami does that. Mm. The real U. That's, is that a U? That's more like a, 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 a half an H. The U interlocked University of Utah, and actually, and I, you know, we make fun of the Utes, but uh, and allegedly there is a, a state there because they have a football team that's ranked pretty high this year. Yeah, they're ten right now, top ten. So yeah. wait until you left. You are going to have a minor, a, a minor, or a dinner. Can I bring Minter? You can bring Minter to your dinner at Ford's Garage in the winter. In <laughs> this guy. You may not have been an English major. But might look may a have little been thinner at the time. Poetry <laughs> major, or freestyle well, rapper. Hey, I'm a winner. You're not really bringing mentor through this, but you can bring three people back in history to have dinner with you at Ford's Garage. Who are the three people Matt Gay is having dinner with? Historical figures, musical. Uh, don't do like a family member that passed on. Tanner did that last week. We didn't even use it in the segment because it brought the whole show down when he started talking about his grandfather who passed yeah. away. Yeah. They have to be dead. We like to use the term deceased, but they have to if be you deceased. want to say dead, okay. go ahead. Um, I would bring... Elvis Presley. Abraham Lincoln. Because you guys kind of the same beard. Yeah, I got the Amish type beard going. Brother Hezekiah, right go ahead, yeah. next. <laughs> um, Jesus. 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 Um, and the third I would bring back, ooh, this is a tough one. I got a few, a few names going through my head. I got to pick one. Chris Farley? Bring me, you. <laughs> you got to have some humor at this yeah, table. You got Jesus yeah. and Abraham Lincoln. Yeah. Ugh, you're killing me. You're killing me. You, I can't decide. I'm going to pick for you. Who? Elvis Presley. Because then he could sing. He can sing gospel for Jesus. Okay, then I'm going to decline your Elvis Presley. Okay. And, and raise with. you a Michael Jackson. Oh, boy. We're going to have some problems this year in the locker room, I have a feeling. You better not miss any kicks, Matt, because I'm really going to write some tough stuff about you. You are throwing the king of rock and roll out of the room for Michael Jackson? King of pop. We'll say king of other things, but we're not going to get into that. Matt... Awesome job, man. Thank really you. appreciate you appreciate joining it. us. Uh, make sure to follow Matt. Matt, where can they find you on social media? Instagram, Twitter, at MG Tweety Monster. Tweety Monster. Remember that? Um, yeah, I'm on both those, so follow me, and it's going to be a good season. So. All right. And we want to thank our sponsor, Ford's Garage. We're going to hook you up with a gift card at some point to Ford's Excellent. Garage and uh, have you go out there for a meal, and uh, maybe they'll let you in the kitchen and you can cook whatever you want. Sounds Matt good. Gay. Kicker for you or Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We'll see you next week with another edition of What's Cooking, sponsored by Ford's Garage.